everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode of the Amazon Review Series. Here we go. So as you can see in a bag like this, and uh, you can see it is a vest. Now this isn't a standard vest, this is actually a tactical SWAT vest. Now this is an actual usable vest. Uh, this isn't just some lightweight uh, base fabric kind of thing with the look of a few pockets or something like that on it. This is actually very usable and one that uh, it's adjustable for various sizes and things like that uh, and is something that uh, as a tactical vest uh, can be used by somebody in a, uh, a peace officer type of position, uh, defensive position, tactical position, uh, what have you. And of course, I mean, you can use this in various aspects. If you want to use it for something like Airsoft, for example, you could use it in an aspect like that. And you can also, of course, use this in a much more realistic aspect if you are, for example, this idea that it is a tactical SWAT vest. So, uh, you know, you could actually use it for a, as a SWAT member and uh, part of a SWAT team or something like that. Now, of course, this thing has lots of different pockets and pouches and, and areas to hook things onto or put things in or whatever. Uh, let's see if they have some information here. Uh, it does say it is quilted, which uh, means like they do have a quilted kind of lining on the inside, a nylon lining. Uh, it's, it has a little bit of padding there. So, uh, you know, you've got that for some comfort. Uh, I do know that the shoulder areas here, uh, as well as the sides, can be adjusted. You can see the sides here have the uh, drawstrings on either side, so you can expand this out um, depending on how uh, how big you are in terms of girth and everything like that. So a bigger a bigger person, as well as somebody who is uh, smaller, can uh, both use this. Uh, somebody who is taller and somebody who is shorter can also use this as well with uh, this is basically a velcro type of adjustment here and uh, it was set up pretty short there but you can set this up and add multiple inches this is this is probably a good uh, Oh, I would have to say about eight inches long from here to here. Uh, obviously, you can't go clear out to the very end, but uh, you can add a, probably a good six inches or something like that to the uh, to the overall length of that to go over the shoulders or whatnot. And uh, that way, you can you can adjust it for your size. So that's definitely a very nice feature. Let's go ahead and start up at the top here. I know that I mentioned the holster, and we'll get to that in just a second. But uh, we've got a snap slash velcro pocket up here which uh, I believe when I saw pictures they suggested this is good for say some type of uh, walkie-talkie or communications device uh, of some type especially something that uh, the way it's set up you could easily have like an antenna coming out from the side because it has this expanding pouch here uh, now it is of course snap and it does have the velcro so it keeps it secure but uh, it's also something where you can just grip it and rip it and kind of open it up from there there's a little tag there that you can uh, hook a d-ring or something like that into and hang something from if you need to there are a couple more pouches here which are perfect size for magazines uh, for your sidearm that you may have in the side here and again they have the velcro along with the snaps here so you've got those going on uh, it does have a snap at the top to help to keep it together uh, so that it, your zipper does not go down now I do notice the zipper doesn't seem to have does it have a locking feature yeah it does have a, a little bit of a locking feature I, it just has a, a very oversized um, uh, pull right there and these are very this is a very large zipper rather than a fine tooth zipper so you've got one at the top and one at the bottom there to uh, to keep it uh, together so that uh, you know in case the zipper for some reason fails you have that extra security to keep that there uh, you have some some uh, ringlets here uh, which would be good for uh, ammunition it looks like there's a uh, room enough for five I'm guessing you could probably put anything in there from not sure I'm thinking probably something in the range of a 38 
all the way up to maybe a 45 or maybe even uh, maybe even larger in terms of caliber for uh, for uh, your ammunition here for uh, bullets or whatever uh, you do have a uh, this is a plastic style d-ring right here that you can loop or hang something off of you have a fairly large pouch right here uh, again of course you've got all the velcro there now this is pretty pretty decent sized pouch right here uh, I'm sure there's a lot of different things that you can utilize to uh, to put in there and then you've got these larger loops here uh, there are four of them and I would say those are definitely for something more like the size of a shotgun shell uh, you know to uh, to carry along with you uh, depending on what type of ammunition or or whatever that you need now we've got uh, some of these longer things here looks like this is a longer one for maybe one of the uh, extendable nightstick type or uh, billy club type things where you can slide that in there and this is nice and tall so you can pop this up grab the handle and slide it out and have quick and easy access there and again there is some velcro there along with the snap interface so you have that double protection of making sure that it's there but it's still very easy where you can do a quick rip and pull and uh, bring it open so and then uh, here we go for something a little bit smaller maybe something uh, now this is a shorter one I have a feeling this one would be good for something like mace or pepper spray I would guess uh, just ballpark figuring of course uh, all this stuff can be adjusted and customized uh, you can use it for whatever you uh, want to use it for I'm only kind of guessing as to maybe what the things like a peace officer or a SWAT member might be carrying with them, uh, you know, on, on duty or on the job or whatever while wearing something like this. Uh, now we've got another one. We do have another little loop right here that uh, possibly you can, you can, one, you can use it to grab and pull, to pull the, the uh, snap and the uh, Velcro open because it is attached to the top here. Uh, but of course there's also the fact that you can throw something on there now this is a much bigger pocket as you can see I can get my entire hand inside there so uh, I'm sure there are various things that you could put in this in this pocket that uh, I, I'm just right at the top of my head I'm not thinking of anything specific uh, that this would be for these other ones were maybe a little more specific in terms of their maybe their use uh, so there we go there and then you do have another one on the other side uh, and it is it, it is the exact same pocket so you've got two of those now right next to the zipper there is this long loop right here I have a feeling that that can be for maybe a tactical pen of some type or or something else of that of that sort that is a uh, longer and thinner maybe a pen maybe a, a pen light uh, you know they have some of the longer uh, tactical pen light type things out uh, that that would uh, be a good hold for uh, for that now let's see we've got the pull down here which has uh, it does have this uh, little stiffener here uh, it attached to this other piece here where the snap is at so uh, we've got that right there like that that's interesting okay so um, this is actually a separate piece I'm not sure I'm gonna have to kind of look at that and see if there's anything more instructional if you guys understand how this goes together a little better than what I'm trying to do with it uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below uh, give us some instruction as to how some of this works like I said I'm definitely not a uh, uh, somebody that knows a lot about this stuff. I'm not a professional. I, I, I am only unfortunately just getting into it uh, Now it does have the pouch on the back here and uh, that is a a nice size zippered pouch Has a kind of a, a three-quarter where it zips down to the side But then it kind of comes up around the top and uh, that's a pretty decent sized pouch right there uh, It's probably about uh, an inch and a half almost two inches uh, deep in going this way and then it's about oh I would say uh, around eight inches by maybe about uh, four inches so uh, two by eight by four roughly in terms of the overall size of this uh, this pouch so you could definitely carry uh, a good amount of things in there if you have uh, something more like a rifle uh, with larger magazines you could probably throw a couple of those larger magazines 
uh, inside here. Now this does have uh, Velcro across the back here. Um, that is uh, useful. I do know that uh, with uh, police, they uh, they put the uh, the police the word the actual word police, and it is a Velcro uh, type of thing. Um, that you can put across here or it could say SWAT or anything else depending on of course whatever it is that you're utilizing this for if you want to advertise. So there's no additional pockets on the inside. It's uh, pretty standard and straightforward that way. Uh, it just, just has a little bit of padding for uh, I'm sure comfort. Uh, especially if you're carrying a lot of gear I'm sure this thing could uh, weigh down uh, very quickly. I mean, just as as it is, I'm gonna say this thing probably weighs. Hmm, oh, I would say two to three pounds, uh, give or take. But then, of course, if you put your sidearm in there, you put maybe uh, a couple of magazines, a few loose rounds, uh, maybe like I said, like a walkie-talkie of some type. Uh, you've got maybe pepper spray and a, and a extendable billy club as well as whatever else you may put in some of these other pockets. Uh, this can go from something that uh, could be as little as 3 pounds to something as much as uh, 15 or 20 pounds uh, very, very quickly and very easily, especially uh, with the sidearm and if you have any larger uh, magazines or something like that that you put in the back end here. All right, guys, so here we go. This is the, uh, the vest right here. Now, as you can see, obviously, I put a few things into it, and uh, here's here's basically the, the look to it. So right here, I have some shotgun shells, as you can see. Right there at the uh, top here, those are actually 40 caliber rounds uh, that I was able to find. Right up here, where we said before, I do have some magazines that uh, I was able to use and find and there's one there and one there and they're perfect size for for standard size magazines did not put anything in the front ones here but in the side one here I do have my extendable uh, baton so that of course can fit in there just like I expected it to a sidearm right here now again, I'm not sure exactly how the clip is supposed to necessarily go. Uh, right now I have it so that it loops back where uh, the back of your hand here goes into the back of the, of the uh, pistol. Uh, now I don't know if this is supposed to be a simple pull like this and out, or if it's supposed to go another way, but there we go, there's, there's with the side arm there. And so now then if I want to go to the back, I just reach back, pull the zipper down. All right, and so I can pull out my magazines here. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be magazines that you have back here. Uh, it could be something else that you're uh, carrying with you. With the additional kind of padding and everything in here, um, I do notice this is definitely very warm. Of course, with it being like a nylon polyester type of material, it doesn't breathe like uh, cotton does so it does hold the heat in a lot more so that's of course something that uh, I would consider not that it's a big huge deal because uh, you know I would expect to be warm from carrying something like this especially with all this equipment uh, on me you know it's going to uh, it's going to basically make me work up a sweat all right guys well if you want to check this out and uh, see see this I'm not sure there may have been some other colors of this uh, it may have come in olive drab or in the uh, in the uh, kind of the sandy brown color for uh, out in the desert. Uh, those may uh, may also be available. Uh, like I said, can't quite remember off the top of my head for that. But if you do want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. Uh, we'll have the uh, link to the Amazon site. Of course, we're also going to have our social media outlets down there. And on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to give us that thumbs up button. It lets us know that uh, you like the commentary, uh, you appreciate what you're seeing, want to see more, stuff like that. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's going to be a little icon floating around right over there, as well as there is that bell icon right down there. Make sure you hit that bell icon and set it up so that you're uh, informed of when we've got new videos that come out. They'll send you an email or whatever. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.